how to use Trello boards. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Trello board. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for those of you who don't know what Trello is, Trello is a project management tool that can help you manage your projects and it can help you manage your schoolwork as well. Now Trello is free to use, but there is a pricing plan. So we'll get to that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to sign up. Now the sign up process is actually very simple. You can just enter in your email right here and you should be good to go. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and sign up. And when you click on the get started button, you'll arrive over here. Here you can go ahead and sign up with your email that you've written. All right. Or you can continue with Google, Microsoft, Apple or Slack. I'm going to continue with Google. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. So over here, this is how it will look like. Over here, you will have your main option. Here you will have your project management options. You have your workspaces, templates and everything, right? And over here, what you can do is you can go ahead and select any of these different templates, right? And you should be good to go. These are some of the most popular templates out there. Now, the first thing is first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a workspace. So over here at the top bar, you can see you have workspaces, recents and everything. And here you have other applications. So what you want to do is click on workspace and here you have to create a workspace. Creating a workspace is very simple. Just simply click on create workspace and over here, just enter in the name of the workspace. So you can go ahead and type in whatever name you want and choose the workspace type. So if you click on choose, you will see you have a bunch of different options. So you have human resources, HR, education, uh, operations, marketing, sales, and others. Choose whichever one you want. Here you can add the description of the workspace. And then down below, you can also add members as well. So let's go ahead and write the name. And then we're going to go ahead and add a description, but that's optional. We're going to skip that for now. And then we're going to click on continue. And after that, you will see you have your workspace right here. And here you have a new workspace and you can go ahead and click on create a board over here. So as you can see, quickly signed up onto Trello and we're in the dashboard and we've already created a workspace. It is one of the best tools out there because it doesn't, you know, hold your hand or anything. It doesn't give you weird things to do like a checklist or anything like that. Over here, boom, you are good to go. So let's go ahead and move into the workspace and start creating a board. So we're going to click on create new board over here, or you can click on view all close boards and depending on you here, you have a small little preview here. You can select some of the backgrounds of your board, choose whichever one you want should be good to go. And then you have these gradient colors as well. So you can choose some of these as well. It depends on you. If you click on these three dots, it'll open up more. So if you want more photos, you can go with that. If you want more colors, you can go with that. So let's just select this background. I think that looks good. And then over here, you can go ahead and add a board title, right? So within workspace, you can have multiple different boards for multiple different workspaces or multiple different types of work that you have, multiple different organizations. So let's say this is a board for YouTube. You can have a board for podcast. You can have a board for video editing. You know, you can have multiple different boards. So let's say this is the YouTube board or a YouTube channel board. Over here, you can add whatever name it is that you want. And then over here we have visibility. So over here you can make this workspace. So all the members of the team will have access to this board. If you want a public, so anyone with the on the internet can use this board. Only board members can edit though. And then you have private, so only invites as well. So only members that you invite can access this board. So we're going to select workspace and then just simply click on create board. If you want, you can go ahead and get started with a template as well. So I'll show you some templates in a second. If you come over here at the top, you can see you have a bunch of different options. You can select the different categories as well. And over here on the left hand side, if you click on templates, you can view all the templates that are available. So you have business design, education and everything. So here they are loading up. So give it a couple of seconds to load up and you should be good to go. So you can see you have a bunch of different template options right here. Uh, marketing content catalog over here, overview, uh, UNICEF global innovation center so you can check out any of these different templates you want so let's say this is a template that we like so we click over here uh, the template is going to open up and this is how it looks like all right so you can use this template as well but for now i think we are good to go so we're going to go back to our place and we're going to click on create new board and we're going to continue with the board that we have created and then we just simply select create and there we go our board is now created and over here we can go ahead and do a little bit of editing 
right? We can create different board sections, right? Change the title of each of these boards to whatever you want and you should be good to go. Here you also have some options at the top. You have automations, power up filters as well. You have workspace visibility, the board view as well. Over here, if you click on this little arrow or drop down box, you can see some other views as well. But for that, you have to upgrade your account. So, or you can go ahead and start with a free trial. But I think most people will go with the board view because it is just very good, very simple. You don't need fancy stuff as well. So let's go ahead and add some boards, right? So here we have three different boards. So three different cards, if you will, right? Here you have the to-do list, the doing and the done. You can go ahead and add more list or change the names of each of these lists as well. So if you click on these three dots on each of these cards or lists, you can go ahead and see some of the actions that you have over here but and if you want to change the name you just simply click on the name and you are good to go after that you can just simply type whatever name it is that you want so to add a card to a list all you got to do is click on this add card button and here you can type the name of this card right so let's say task number one here we go so now we just simply click on add card and here we have a task so if you click on the task right here this pop-up is going to open up and here you can add the description of that tasks here you can select uh you know the members you can go ahead and add people or assign people to this task or if you click on the join button you can go ahead and assign yourself if you want to click on members you can go ahead and add members over here over here you have labels here you can select or add different labels so for example let's say this green color all uh, right it's going to be added over here this is a title over here let's say this green card this green label represents the to-do tasks right or let's say these are certain types of tasks. So you can have different categories for each task. So let's say we can select different priorities as well. So green one is going to be like low priority. Then we have yellow. This is going to be like a medium priority. And then we have orange, which is going to be an urgent, right? And then we have other cards like blue one and red one. Red red could represent the whether or not the task is cancelled or not and you can add other purple and blue to whatever categories you want right like you understand so let's go ahead and do that so this is how i set it up so i changed the green to complete because i thought that would be much better that looks much better so blue is going to be low priority then we have medium and urgent and then we have cancelled in progress and completed so it's something like this right so now we have some labels and to apply the labels we just simply click on the label and boom as you can see right here blue label has been added and when we click on it we can see right here the priority the label right here and then of course you have other options as well like custom fields cover attachment dates checklist as well if you want to click on checklist and you can add a checklist over here if you click on dates here you can set a due date as well so over here's the due date reminder over here you can select whichever date you want to set it as a due date and then you should be good to go so this is how you can set up multiple different you know tasks and then over here doing done so you can go ahead and change some of the names so let's say this is in progress and this is completed and you can also change the color of these bars right here or boards but for that of course uh, you have to start the free trial so next you can also add different automations or as well or you can create new fields so let's say we add another list which is going to be uploaded so let's say you know we have uploaded the task to youtube as well so this way, whenever a task is completed, we can see over here on the list whether or not they are uploaded. And we can also create different automations as well. So let me just show you how you can do that. So to add different automation, you just simply click on the automations. Here you have rules, emails, and all of that. Click on rules to set and create different rules. So here, over here, give it a couple of seconds. So here you have rules. It's setting up over here. So you have scheduled rules over here, due dates, card buttons as well and board buttons as well so let's go ahead and create a button or let's go ahead and create a rule itself so let's go click on create rule here we have three sections so select trigger select the action and review and save so let's go ahead and click on add trigger so when a card is added to let's say or let's say when a card's status is changed as well so here we have card changes when the green completed right here when any all right when any label is added to a card by me or well let's say when the green card is labeled added to a card by me or by anyone right let's say by anyone and this is it right so we click on this button right here click then select the action then move the card to the bottom of the list or the top of the list whatever to the completed list right here 
and there you go so now we click on done and there we have a rule so now we can go ahead and test it out so whenever the green completed label is added to a card by anyone move that card to the top of the list of completed so let's go ahead and test it out so let me just close this one up and over here we have a task here let's go ahead and add the completed label and there we go there we go automatically it's moved to the completed section which i think is perfect so this is how you can set up your own boards set up different automations add new tasks add new columns to each board and if you want to change the view click on this one and of course you can change the view as well so pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you use trello boards and hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye